You want to safeguard your health, maximize your immune system, grow muscle, and lose fat faster? Grover Immune is not herbs and spices. It's not a proprietary blend. It's patented. It's a one-of-a-kind product. It's backed by science from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Grover is a protein antibody. It's different. It's real science and gets real results. Check us out at Prova.com. I'm Dave Palumbo, founder of Species Nutrition. I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work and are backed by science. From my earliest bodybuilding days, I believed in only putting the best in my body. And that lives on in the Species Nutrition line of products. We use only top-of-the-line formulations dosed for maximum results and the best flavoring systems available. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Dave Palumbo back with an RX Muscle Supplement and Science Review. And guys, today we're going to be talking about some foods. The foods we're going to be talking about are sweet potatoes, white potatoes, and yams. What is the difference, or are they the same? Most of us will agree that white potatoes, or just regular potatoes in general, are separate from sweet potatoes. We, we can tell the difference, they look different, they taste different. Uh, although a lot of times we use them interchangeably. And you know, I, I, I'm always talking about how I learn something every single day. And, and I always knew that yams and sweet potatoes were kind of different, but I didn't really understand the difference between them. And today I'm gonna kind of elaborate a little bit about how they are different. Um, first of all, I just wanna differentiate that it's important to understand that yams, sweet potatoes, and white potatoes all have different carbohydrate content. And this is super important when figuring out a diet. And this, uh, you know, one of my clients and I were going over, you know, how much, how many grams of carbohydrates they were eating for their pre-contest uh, diet. And, you know, he used the term yam and I went and looked them up to, just to make sure how many grams of carbs they are per ounce. Because we usually go in ounces. And I realized, holy mackerel, I can't believe how many grams of carbs are in these things. Yams are 7.9 grams of, of, of carbs per ounce. So if, if you're going to eat 10 ounces of that, that's, that's 80 grams of carbs. Now, they do have a gram, about 1.2 grams of fiber per ounce. So we round up, we say they're about 8.7. 8 so figure about 9 grams per, of carbs. Excuse me. So they're like about 6 grams of, eh, about 7 grams of carbs, I'd say, per ounce. So if you are doing 10 ounces, that's 70 grams of carbohydrates, you know, you're eating. Whereas with a, with a regular, you know, white potato, white potatoes are 4.45 grams per, uh, of carbs per ounce but with about 0.7 grams of fiber in there. So you figure they're about 3.75 grams of carbs per ounce. So if you eat 10 ounces of, of white potato, you're only getting about 35 to 36 grams of carbs. So think about it, yams are double the amount. So you can really screw your diet up if you're eating a real yam. Now the problem is that most people are, when they buy yams, they're not really eating yams. Some people, most of you guys probably don't even know what the word yam means. Uh, most of you just think it's, it's, a, it's another interchangeable term with sweet potato. Now sweet potatoes actually have, um, uh, after you, you kind of redu uh, deduct the fiber from them, they're about four and a half grams of carbs per ounce. So if you do 10 grams of, uh, excuse me, 10 ounces of uh, sweet potato, you're getting about 45 grams of carbs. So they're, they're definitely more uh, carbohydrate laden than white potatoes. You know, only one gram per ounce, but it adds up if you're doing 10 ounces. But they're a lot less than yams. Now what's the difference, okay, between a sweet potato and a yam? Because most of you, and I myself included, almost thought that they were exactly the same thing. You know, sweet potatoes actually are, are a South American tuber that grows in the ground. They are um, actually more prevalent now in, in, I think, North and South Carolina. I think actually North Carolina is, is the number one place they grow in the world. But they're originally from South America. And, you know, it's, it's something that we all grew up, you know, eating during Thanksgiving and stuff like that. And, 
Uh, sweet potatoes actually come in a white variety, which is the original variety that was here, and then they also have an orange variety that was introduced only about maybe 15, 20 years ago. Um, in order for supermarkets to kind of differentiate the different color types, what they did was they called the original or whitish looking sweet potatoes, they called them sweet potatoes, and then they called the other ones yams, so to, to, to kind of differentiate them. The problem is that a real yam comes from Africa. It's an African tuber that grows around. Some of them can grow to five feet long. They're huge. Uh, if you've ever seen these huge ones in the supermarket, those are yams. Those are real yams. And they're much more, they don't have, taste as sweet as sweet potatoes. Uh, they kind of have a, a more like starchy taste to them. But they have a lot more carbs per ounce, as I just showed you before, almost double. So you got to be careful about what you're buying and actually, you know, you know, hopefully the supermarkets are differentiating a yam from a sweet potato because you can be eating a lot more carbs than you think. Now, here's where the, where the, where the confusion came. When, when Africans came over to this country as slaves, okay, they started calling the local sweet potatoes niami. And niami translates literally in English to yam. So they, that, they, that's part of the, uh, the disconnect. So, because in Africa, they were actually eating real yams, but the sweet potatoes here weren't yams. So that's another level of confusion in, in modern culture that kind of screwed things up, so to speak. So a yam, much more starchy, less sweet in taste, higher in carbohydrates. Um, so you, you can't eat quite as many of them, and you gotta make sure you, you figure out on, a, on an ounce per ounce basis, if you do ounces, you have to understand that you're eating about seven ounces, excuse me, seven grams of carbs per ounce with yams, whereas it's, um, it's only four, four and a half uh, net carbs per ounce with sweet potatoes. So if you're gonna opt for one or the other, I would go with sweet potatoes, because to me they taste the same. You're gonna get less carbs, okay, with the same volume of food. Now obviously a white potato is even better because of the fact that it has even less carbs, you know, so um, I don't use sweet potatoes a lot with my, you know, people who are dieting unless they like them. If they like them, then I have to make the adjustments for the, for the carbohydrates. And that's what I did with my clients that I was telling you about. We sat down and we figured, all right, this is how many grams of carbs we want. This is how many ounces you have to eat to get that many grams of carbs. But you have to understand you're going to be eating a lot less. Um, so to reiterate, white potatoes, the lowest in carbs per ounce. Yams the highest, okay, sweet potatoes in the middle probably, but the sweet potatoes that you're going to get in the supermarket, 99 times out of 100 are going to all be sweet potatoes. If they call it a yam, it's probably just because it's a different color, okay? The only place you can really get a real yam would be in, in like one of these ethnic supermarkets that they have in certain areas where they have, you know, locality type, you know, vegetables that you, you can't just get in a normal supermarket. So ask questions. You could probably ask the supermarket themselves what exactly, if it's labeled a yam, say, is this really a yam? Okay. Um, most of the time, though, they will be labeled as sweet potatoes. Um, most people will not eat the, um, we won't eat the whitish looking ones. They're going to go with the orange ones because they have a little bit of a sweeter taste. Um, I, I like sweet potatoes. I go through these stages where I'll just eat certain foods and um, I happen to like white potatoes or red potatoes, you know, the, the, the regular potatoes better than, say, yams or sweet potatoes. But I go through these stages where sometimes all I want is sweet potatoes. It's the weirdest thing. And I think it's a, a vitamin craving type thing. You know, they obviously have more carotenoids in them because of that orange color. And, you know, maybe sometimes your body craves certain vitamins at different times of the year. I have no idea. I'm a very instinctual eater. So if I go to the supermarket and I'm like, hmm, I really want a sweet potato. I'm going to go with a sweet potato. I'll, I'll do that. And, you know, the, you know, a lot of people ask me how you cook them. You, I mean, you could bake them, you can, which is, I think they taste the best when they're baked, but I'm the laziest person when it comes to cooking. So what I usually do is I'll cut them up into cubes. I'll put them in a microwavable bowl, like a, just a little water, just to kind of keep them wet so they don't dry out too much, and I'll microwave them. I mean, lit, literally, depending on how many you put in the microwave, you can probably microwave them from anywhere from two and a half to four or five minutes. Um, the more obviously you have, the longer you have to microwave them. And then just keep, keep sticking a fork in them. When they get soft, they're done. I do that every night with my potatoes. I mean, literally, I mean, three minutes in the microwave and I have potatoes that are cooked that would probably take forever to boil or to, or to bake. 
But, you know, if I go to a restaurant, I'll eat a baked potato, you know, uh, I like it, you know. For some reason, I've been in a potato mode lately. And, and that was after probably being on a rice kick for at least, I would say, six months to a year straight. I was eating rice every single night. So I, I changed it up. And once again, it could be my cravings. It could just be what's available, you know, or, or, or if I want to, what I want to cook or don't want to cook. I'm on a, I'm on a, on a potato binge lately. <laughs> maybe I'll, maybe I'll go to the supermarket and actually start looking for real yams because I'm not on a, I'm not on a restriction diet by any means, and just really experiment with the taste. But um, if you're looking for sweet, you go with the sweet potato. If you're looking for a little bit of a, a more starchy, duller taste, go with the, the yam. And if you're just looking for a potato taste, you can you can mix it up with different types of potatoes. There's purple potatoes now. Can you believe purple potatoes? I would have never guessed that, but, you know, years ago. Purple potatoes. There's red potatoes. There's the, well, the red skin potatoes. There's white potatoes. There's so many different ones out there. If you go to a good supermarket, um, like I go to Publix down here in Florida, and they have like almost every single color of the rainbow, and they all taste a little different, but. At the end of the day, they're not, they're not so much that different. I like the purple ones cause just because they're purple color. I don't necessarily think they taste that much different. To me, a white potato or a red skin potato is, is, is absolutely fine. You know, it doesn't matter to me. They, they all, you know, I cut them up into cubes. I usually salt them up a little bit and mix them into my food and, and they're good. I don't really eat it like a baked potato unless I go to Outback. But once again, the take home message here is, especially if you're dieting, be aware of the carbohydrate content difference of the potato versus the sweet potato versus the yam. When we talk net carbs, which means absorbable carbs, because we have to deduct off the fiber, because fiber is not absorbable, three and a half grams of carbs per ounce for potatoes, four and a half grams of carbs per ounce for sweet potatoes, and seven grams of carbs per ounce for yams understand that difference double the content for the same weight i'm dave palumbo with an rx muscle supplement and science review